So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, light fall off and how we can control it to get different results and affect our performance on our lights inside of Unreal Engine. And right here you can see I have a spotlight that's pointing up and that spotlight has an attenuation radius on it. So if you see up here, the attenuation radius is like the extent that the light can actually affect the scene. So there's gonna be no light coming outside of these bound, uh, bounds um, ever, unless it's in a baked kind of like GI solution where the, the rays might bounce out. But in terms of a real-time light in Unreal, like you're never going to affect any of these pixels that are outside of the attenuation radius. And so let's talk about some different scenarios. For one, we can see right here that we have this um, light at the bottom, the spotlight, and it's casting light up. But we're getting kind of a hot spot and then we're getting like almost no contribution. So the thing to remember about attenuation radius is that the full value, the intensity over here, so 20 candela is being produced and then every meter or so, we're losing half of its energy down to zero at this point. So what's what we're end up happening is that here, there's no lighting contribution. And so what if we wanted there to be a bit more light filling this area and um, what would we have to do? So, well, let's try to turn up the intensity. And you can see here that the amount of energy that was produced at the beginning is still being half, but it's still being lost by the end. So we're still not getting that um, filled up here with light. And we've introduced this super bright hotspot and that's kind of not looking great. So let's, let's look into something else we can do. So let's set this back down to, let's say like 50. Um, what I want to show you, and I'm going to close this back up so you can find it, is if you click on your light and you come over to the lighting tab, you'll see this little drop down, show advanced. And in here, you're going to see an option that's a checkbox and it's called used inverse square fall off. So you can see right now it's checked to true. And that was the thing I was explaining where, um, let's just say every meter, it's losing half of its power. Okay. So if I disable this, you're going to see at first it gets a little bit brighter. So what is Unreal done? Let me put this back to its defaults. Um, it set things to unitless because we're not kind of in a true mathematical model for lighting anymore. We're kind of doing the game art thing where uh, we just need to kind of get a certain result or we need to do for performance. So by default, when you turn this off, this category right below it called light fall off exponent is going to be set to eight. And this is a different math expression than inverse fall off. So how light falls off. This is a different way of doing it, but with an exponent of eight. So this is still kind of falling off. Um, at this exponent, if that makes sense, at a certain rate. And to kind of illustrate this, if I start turning this down, so if I, as I go down, you can see the light is starting to fill the wall, but I'm not really making the bottom more blown out. It's staying the same intensity at the bottom. And what this can be really useful for is times when you need to just kind of fill a little bit more light in an area without trying to make like these massive attenuation cones all over your level, where it's really hard to manage them. And then the other aspect of this is with movable lights. So let's say that this light was set to movable. And the thing to consider about performance on movable lights is that their attenuation radius affects performance. So the number of pixels being influenced in this cone, when you view it on screen, is what's gonna contribute to poor performance. So if I weren't using this, so I turned it off, and let's say I wanted that light again to fill that area, so let's go in here and do this. I need to change my units from unitless back to candelas. And then let's set this to 500. If say I wanted to get the light all the way up the wall again, because you can see it's kind of falling off and getting dark, I might need to increase my attenuation radius. Well, look, I have a similar result, but now I have a hotspot and I'm influencing a ton more pixels that are going to affect performance. So, Hopefully this kind of explains a little bit about some of the secret techniques you can use to get a little bit more light into different areas and to affect the performance of your movable lights to keep their attenuation radiuses as small as possible, but still get the right amount of light into the space. So if you liked this video and it was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe if you're not, because I try to make these videos about once a week now. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.